Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Again, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. In this week's episode of Foods for Dudes, I'm gonna show you how I make these hot and crunchy chicken wraps. It includes a sauce that we're gonna be making from scratch. So it's a little bit more of an advanced recipe, but well worth the work, I promise you. And this has kind of a mayonnaise-based sauce, which has mango, cilantro, lime, and garlic. Really tasty. Now you'll see when I cook this, there is a uh, coconut cilantro lime rice. I haven't done the recipe for that yet, but I will in the future. So again, make sure you subscribe down below. That really helps me out and I appreciate it. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Let's just jump right in. So basically we're gonna start off with the shallots and we're gonna mince those nice and fine and just toss them into a pan. I like to use this pan that has a little bit of a wall to it. Next, you will peel the mango and then just go ahead and dice that up and toss that in the pan as well. If you want, you can use frozen mango. That's even easier. You could just thaw it out and then throw it in the pan. Next, you're gonna wanna add in the two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, as you see here. And then you can use one ounce of sugar or you can just use like a little splash of this agave nectar is what I'm using. And then toss in about a tablespoon of water as well. We're going to put this over medium heat and cover it and simmer it for about 10 minutes until everything is softened up. Now, after it's done cooking, just go ahead and take it off the heat and set it aside to cool down for a little bit. While that's cooling down, let's go ahead and mince up the garlic and then also chop up the cilantro. I like to use about a handful, as you see here. We're gonna transfer that into our food processor. I'm using a miniature one here, as you can see by Cuisinart. And basically you just toss that in and blend it up nice and smooth. It may take a couple rounds, a couple minutes, but you want to get this consistency should be very smooth like a puree. And the reason we want to let this cool down to room temp or so is because we're going to be adding in mayonnaise and you don't want to add cold mayonnaise to a hot mixture. It's going to curdle. So add in your mayonnaise to the puree and then we're going to toss in the garlic and the cilantro and then we'll add in our lime juice. And I use about a half a lime, so it's a tablespoon of lime juice. So you're going to throw that in there. Just mix everything well until it's incorporated. And then we'll go ahead and season it with salt and pepper, give it a taste, make sure it's to your liking. And then you're just gonna transfer this into a container and toss this in the fridge. Next up is prepping for the red cabbage. So we're gonna basically just take your head of cabbage, cut it in half, and then I cut that in half to a quarter, and then just finally shred that up and put it into its own little container, as you see me doing here. Pretty easy, and then throw that in the fridge. Now for the chicken, depending on which route you're gonna go, I'm using these Gardein. Um, vegan chicken strips. Um, they're just, you know, a meat-free alternative that I like to use and very easy to bake and just quick and simple. But basically once those are done, we're going to start to toast our tortillas as you see me doing here. I like mine kind of just medium toasted, not burnt. Okay, for assembly, real easy. Just take a couple tablespoons of the sauce. We're going to spread that just off center of the tortilla and then we'll add in the chicken strips. And then I like to lay down a little bit of the cabbage and I'll toss in some sliced avocado and then just roll it up. And I like to use a little toothpick to hold it in place while I assemble the rest. And as you see me doing here, I'm laying down a little uh, side bed of uh, coconut cilantro lime rice, which I'll do the recipe for that in the future. Really good stuff, pairs well with this. And I'm just making, assembling a second uh, wrap and then we're good to go. All you have to do is enjoy it. So I really appreciate you guys checking out my video. I hope you try it out. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for checking out my channel. Take a moment to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the bell for notifications, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Helps me out a ton, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.